There's a lot of colors I don't know where to go See a lot of colors Only feeling blue There's a lot of colors Lost within a haze Don't rely on others To get you through the maze the dream. Hi and welcome to Step by Step. Um, I thought I'd turn up the heat today <laughs> and talk about heaters. Um, I do get quite a lot of questions on the channel about heaters and um, Often I get asked what I use as well, so I'll talk about that. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to talk about a range of heaters. I'm not, I'm not here to tell you what you should get, but I'm just going to compare these so you can see them for yourself in real life, if you like. Um, so I've got a range of heaters here um, that I would sort of recommend, probably all of them, I think, for, uh, for heating your bio. Um, before I do that, it's safe to say that you might not need a heater. Uh, it depends on, on your room temperature normally, so your ambient sort of temperature, that might be enough to keep the aquarium warm enough for tropical fish. Uh, and certain fish species actually do better in, in slightly cooler water. So things like zebra danios, endlers, uh, bloodfin tetras, uh, Odessa barbs, uh, white cloud minnow are all quite happy in a cooler sort of temperature and certainly in the UK arguably you wouldn't need a heater for them because because all those sort of fish can tolerate temperatures between 18 degrees centigrade and 26 or 64 degrees Fahrenheit to around about 80 so you might not need a heater um, so that's the first point so you could choose just to have fish that do not need a heater and uh, if so that's that problem solved. So, why do f certain fish need heating, uh, so heating though? Because they are they are tropical. The the place they come from um, has warmer temperatures, um, and so they need the heat support within the aquarium. But also, certain fish also can't uh, tolerate swings or, or changes within the environment that they live in. So a heater keeps. The, the temperature within the aquarium at a fairly stable sort of rate, which is more akin to the, uh, the habitat they're from. So, so that's the introduction as to whether you need one or not. From a bio uh, perspective, or certainly from my perspective, what would, what would I be looking for in a heater? Well, um, one that's the right size for, for the aquarium, um, something that's small, uh, something that's fairly discreet and a big one for me is something that is fully submersible. Now not all heaters uh, can be fully submersed, some need to be towards the top, you, you know, at the top end actually showing above the water. I think for me and probably most uh, viewers uh, would want one that is fully submersible, so make sure if that's what you want that that is exactly what you're getting. Um, another thing might be uh, positioning of of, um, uh, of a heater as well. Not all uh, heaters um, can be put that way. Uh, they've got to be vertical um, and the, this uh, fluval one here is an example where, uh, where the recommendation is upright like that, not that way. All the other ones you can go either that way or that way. So depending on what how you're trying to hide a heater, which I think what most people are trying to do, um, that that might be something else that you need to think about. I did say, you know, there is a, I do get asked quite a few times about what heater I have, and I have a Biob Intelligent heater. In fact, I've got three or four of them, um, and this is what I use in my aquarium. Now, the really sad thing, or the bad thing, is that Biob has stopped producing them, and. Uh, they are absolutely perfect for, for a bio. Um, so, so this is a 50 watt, and it's fairly discreet. You, you can change the uh, uh, the cover on it, change it to black, that comes off, or, or you can have it transparent as well. So that that is what the intelligent sort of heater used to look like. So it was a preset heater, 
what is a preset heater, but you can't get them anymore, unfortunately. I think it's because Bio have changed their heating or, or their um, electrical supply to their new aquariums. So what used to work no longer works. So, and this one, you used to just put a dump at the back, even on the bottom, um, on the ceramic media, you could really hide it amongst things. So, so unfortunately, they don't do them. Um, and, and they have a white cable as well, and it's quite fine, which is unusual for a heater. So, no that one, because you can't get them anymore. If you get one, um, or you see one available, um, you know, uh, consider uh, getting it. Okay, so before, let, I mean, let's talk general here about a heater. Um, I would say, whatever brand you get, make sure that you get a brand that has a reputation um, in the aquarium um, industry, if you like. Don't get a brand that's a bit of an unknown or anything like that. Um, there are a lot of unreliable sort of heaters out there that do all sorts of things, you know, they explode and all sorts, of, and, you know, so you have to be careful. I would certainly go for one of the big name brands. Um, they tend to have a two year guarantee on them as well. Um, and I would so sort of, I'm going to have to be cautious in saying this, but you could have a look at the reviews on, on Amazon. Not that I always tend to do that because Amazon often is, is full of negative uh, reviews on products. Uh, find a product that doesn't have negative reviews on Amazon. Uh, mainly because the people that are motivated uh, to make a comment on something are those that, that want to say something negative. So it's not always, it's not always the best uh, thing to look at. But, but certainly, you know, take it with a bit of sort of pinch of salt, if you like. The next thing is uh, what size of, of a heater. So the size of your aquarium, um, in a way, dictates the size of heater you need. If you deal in litres, it's far easier than if you're dealing in gallons because it's, it's such an easy uh, conversion. So the rule is you need one watt of heater per one litre. So, for a 15 litre biorb, you need a 15 watt. Um, for a 30, you need a 30 watt. A 45, you would need a 45 watt, or in other words, a 50. Uh, for a 60, really, you need a 60 watt. And for a 105 uh, litre biorb, the very large ones, you'd need probably about 100 watts. Now, the, uh, the, the heat I'm going to talk about. Um, sort of vary in their size, uh, so they are they are suitable for uh, for biobs for most sizes. So so that's a, so so that's why I've, I've chosen these ones. Okay, there there are two main types of heater. One is called a, th um, a preset sort of temperature. In other words, you, you can't adjust them. They uh, they come. You put them straight into your aquarium. They have a preset, normally somewhere between uh, 24 to 25 degrees uh, centigrade. So this is uh, the Aheem one. Uh, it's their 50 watt. It, it's a preset. The the bio one I just showed you, or one I have in this aquarium, is also a preset. So you can't adjust it. it it, it reaches a certain temperature and, and, and maintains that temperature. So, so th this is an example of a, a preset. Uh, uh, many other types. Um, oh, I'll show this one because it's got a nice picture on. Uh, on here, have at the top um, an adjuster, so you, you can actually adjust the uh, the temperature that you want. And and they tend to. Around about, they tend to be between 19 degrees to around about 30 degrees, uh, and, and you can set that. Now, I think if you are using one of these adjustable ones, you, uh, use the scale on them as a guide. But for example, if you put it at uh, say 24 and a half uh, degrees centigrade, uh, use the thermometer to make sure that that heater is providing that heat because it, it will vary according to your aquarium. So if it needs to be, if you find even it's set at 24.5, if that's, if that's roughly what you wanted, but the tank is only maintaining a heat to 23, you'll just have to turn up the heat a bit more. Uh, so anyway, so that, so that you know, just a, a, a note of caution on there. Uh, let's talk about products then. So I'm gonna start with bio, and funny enough, it's also not just a bio, 
it's actually produced by Heidel. So I've got another one here from them. Um, so uh, this is the Biorb uh, 50 watt, and they only do one heater, which is why I'm going to talk about some other ones. So this is what this looks like if you haven't seen one before. Um, it's fairly, dis fairly small in, in terms of a heater. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to open the packaging. And it looks like that. So, you know, quite, uh, quite a nice size. Um, unfortunately, black cabling. It's got the means to put it onto a, a flat uh, back aquarium. You know, so you just suck that on, uh, stick it on, I should say, um, onto the back of the aquarium. And, and you can choose where you want to uh, uh, place it. So, so you can put it quite low down near the bottom of the aquarium. And, and you can also put it that way around as well. So that's the 50. Now, um, as I said, it, it is produced, it, it is sold by Biol, but it's actually, the, the product is uh, Heidel, which you can see on the side there. Now, you can actually get them directly from Heidel themselves, so they do their own version. So, that, so uh, this is a, the same product, directly from Heidel, not, not from, not from Biol. And on the 100, you can see the size difference. So there is a size difference. So if you've got a larger tank, and particularly, uh, um, you know, like a 105 uh, litre, you're certainly going to need uh, that size. And if BioBody sell 50 watts, which I understand they do, then, then you need to. So if, if you want to stick with the product, uh, then, then you could get the high door um, in that size as well. They also do a 25 watt as well, high door. So, so for a smaller aquarium, you could actually get uh, the 25 watt for a, you know, for a 15 litre if, if, if you wanted that smaller size. I, I, don't, I think, I think the, the 25 watt has the, is the same proportions as this one. So it, 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 it's, a, it's a lower heat, but I think I, I believe uh, the proportions are the same as this one. Okay, so, so that's that product. I think the Heidel ones are a bit cheaper than Biorb, but if you get a Biorb one, you, they, they do throw in some um, additional things. So you get a, a thermometer that can stick on the side, uh, you, know, that you can discreetly put around out of the way. Um, and they also provide a special uh, holder, which I think largely is good for if you have the orb shape, one of these, uh, uh, this, uh, this shape aquarium, because this allows that, uh, this heater, to be, uh, to be attached onto a curve shape, which these don't. Okay, so, so that, so, so those are the only, so those are the things you get with the biob that you wouldn't get with the high door uh, by itself. Have a look at both products and you can work out which one um, is more suitable for you. They are the same product um, and, and you can get these separately and you can also get these fairly cheap and separately as well. So that's those, I'm going to move those out of the way. So that's the Biob one, uh, 50. This is the high door, 100 watts. And the next one I'll talk about is, I'll get rid of this box, <laughs> is uh, the Ahim one. So this is, bit, uh, this is the only example in these ones I'm, I'm just showing now that is a preset. So the, that, this is what this one looks like. So again, it comes with attachments, uh, so, you know, so that you can attach it to the glass on your aquarium. I think it comes with two of those. You get the idea. Um, there you go. Okay. So no, it comes with one. So so that just goes on onto here, uh, clips on, and, and, and that's the size. No, you do get two. So on this suction cup here, it, it fits into here. So you can have one there, but then the other, whoop, the other one uh, can be attached further up 
again uh, with a suction cup on. And that's what that looks like. So that so that's a that's a preset 50 watt. Um, now I believe on this one they actually they recommend it for a volume between 25 liter and 60 liter for this one. So it's quite actually it's quite a nice little uh, sort of heater I think. Um, so that so that's that one. Now get rid of that. Now we're going to move to Fluval, and again, they are a big name in um, lots of things to do with aquariums. So, the, so the, uh, this is uh, the Fluval one. Now, in comparison, and, and this is a um, uh, this is a fifty a fifty watt, but but you can see the length of it. I'll compare that to the, the fifty in the biob. It there's quite a a size difference. The good thing about this, it has this uh, a reflective technology, which is, is, supposed, uh, is supposed to make it more discreet within the water. So, apart from, you've still got the black cable tied. I don't know why they insist, people insist on having black cables. Um, and they're always very thick as well. Um, there must be a reason for that. But it, if you've got a black aquarium, you know, rather than white, um, it, it probably would fit quite nicely up against um, a part of the aquarium that's black. So, so that's what that one looks like. Um, yeah, so that so that's a 50 as well. Again, adjustable on the top, so you just adjust uh, the temperature uh, setting. Again, a fluval, uh, very reliable, two-year guarantee. All, all of the products, I would say, are reliable. So, so those are your choices. Now, you, you might say, um, in terms of this, you know, I mentioned about the, I think a good example is if you have a 60 litre aquarium, because really what that is saying you need is a 50 watt heater rather than the bio one. Now, I should also say that it, it, it's about the total amount of, uh, sort of water. If you take out all your decorations and all those other things, uh, you're, you, you know, you, you can have a, a smaller amount of water than what's in your aquarium. So I would generally say that a 50, a 50 watt is fine in a 60. Uh, it's not in a 105, it's just not making that size aquarium. So, so a 50 watt is suitable for a 60 litre. Yeah, going back to my point, you might say, well, why don't I just get a much bigger heater than... Uh, than the tank, you, you, you know, instead of getting the 50, why don't I, and you know, if it's on that, on, on that sort of margin between uh, one size of heater, why don't I just go for the big one, the larger, or why don't I get a really big heater, um, you know, is that going to be more efficient? Um, the, the problem I would say with ones where you can adjust the temperature is they are very much re uh, reliant on the uh, thermostat control. Now, if something goes wrong with them, it tends to be the thermostat. If you've got a large heater and the thermostat stops working, what will happen is that heater will just normally will continue to heat and heat and heat. If you had a 400 watt heater in an aquarium this size, you might end up with fish soup <laughs> in that scenario. So you should always try and match roughly the right size of heater to your aquarium. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, rather than, I, I have shown you, I have shown you them. I'll get them all back again so you can see them all. Um, I'm not going to show the intelligent uh, bio heater, because uh, you can't get it anymore, as far as I know. Um, so, so, that's, so that's the Biob, or uh, Hydor 50, that's the Hydor 100. That's uh, the preset uh, Maheen, uh, 50 watts, and that's the Fluval with the shiny surface in 50 watt as well. So you can, you can get an idea of, of the size of them um, in comparison, and that might help you choose what you need for your aquarium. Now, what I'm going to do, I always like to go a bit further <laughs> uh, than, uh, than other people. <laughs> Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put 
each one of these heaters in this aquarium. And I'm just going to I'm just going to choose a place. I'm not going to go over the top and trying to uh, trying to hide it. So I'm going to do that for each one. I'm going to put it in here so you can see what that sort of looks like in a an aquarium of this size. So that one in there is the biorb or uh, 50 or uh, the hydro 50. Um, it's fairly discreet. I, it's the black cable I hate more than anything else. Uh, but that, that is shown in a, uh, a vertical sort of position. As I said, you, you could turn it, you could rotate it into a horizontal sort of position if that suits uh, you in terms of hiding it. So, so, that, so that is that one. Okay, so I've taken it back out now. Um, so again, that's the bio. I just thought I'd show you, you know, maybe a typical decoration for something like a 60 litre. Um, I think with the, the larger tanks, I think it's far easier to, to hide that behind, you know, your sort of decoration um, purely uh, because of the size of this compared to the heater. So, so that's that one. So in terms of the Hydor 100, I'm not going to put it in that aquarium because it, it's just the more, it is the wrong size sort of heater for, you know, for a 30 litre. That's, you know, that is just not the right size. But it's certainly okay for a 60 litre um, and, and for a 105. So again, using the 60 litre um, uh, decoration here, um, that's... So, as I said, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to put that one into the aquarium. Okay, so that one in there is uh, the Ahim one, uh, the 50 watt uh, preset. Um, it's, it, I think that was fairly okay. It's, it's maybe similar in terms of how visual it is uh, compared to, uh, when you compare it to the Bio or the uh, the Heidel range. So, if if you want a, a preset. Um, I think it's just personal choice, <laughs> I need to say, whether you go for preset or adjustable. So, again, I think, as usual, it's the, it's the black cable that lets them down. So, there you go. So, that's that one. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing with the Ahim, um, uh, using a 60 um, decoration. So, that you can see that it's fairly good at hiding. Um, Again, on this one, you can use either that way or that way. Um, I'm not going to put it in that way, but you can do it that way if you wanted. So, which leaves the last one, which is the Fluval. Okay, so that's the Fluval uh, 50 with the reflective technology, but as you can see, it is, it is actually quite a large heater. Um, in, in this size tank, that, that is quite a large heater. Um, you know, 30 watt, uh, sorry, 50 watt in a 30 in terms of its size um, is something I, I'm not overly keen on, but, but anyway, let's compare it to what it would look like against uh, you know, this sort of decoration. Uh, that's what this uh, Fluval 50 looks like behind uh, decoration for a 60 or larger aquarium. Um, it hides most of it, it doesn't hide all of it. You'd have to, you'd have to choose, <laughs> let's choose a different decoration. Uh, I could maybe have done this for every one of them, but you'd have, you'd have to probably go with something like that, I think, if you, if, if you wanted to hide it. Um, yeah, that would work with this sort of thing um, in, in a 60. Not, not in that size. Now, on the Fluval, <laughs> if, you, if you look into them, uh, there's always been a bit of a sort of discussion about whether they are submersible, fully submersible, and the answer is they are fully submersible. But what people get confused over is that it has a line on here, there, and it says minimum. Um, and in other words, what, what that is saying is that shouldn't be water. Like that, that is the minimum sort of depth um, that this needs to go under the water so it can go under. So that, that's what that line is. It's, it's not saying you shouldn't put it under any further than that line. Um, it's not, that's, not, that's not what it's telling you. 
So again, fully submersible. So all, all of these are fully submersible. Okay, there you go. Um, th uh, that's just a review of uh, several sort of uh, products that, that you probably will be looking at um, if, if, you've, if you looked hard into this. You, you, there's lots of products out there, but when you start to narrow it down, you know, fully submersible, whether it can be you know, horizontal or vertical sort of positioning, um, how easy it is, how, how large they are, uh, can you hide it within in your aquarium? You start to narrow down, narrow down. <laughs> then you, then you have to add in: uh, is it a really is it a really good product uh, from a, a really good name? Uh, it gets narrower and narrower. So eventually, you end up probably with a choice that's similar to what I've shown you today. So I hope that helps. At least you've seen them side by side, and you've also seen them in the aquarium. So okay, right. Take care. Bye. There's a lot of colors Lost within a haze Don't rely on others To get you through the maze The dreams are not the same for me Standing by the shore Why you're Take this